You've said that within the Catholic Church there are many different strands of thought and you represent only yourself. There are some of your colleagues who seem to be rather attracted to the idea of intelligent design. Do you have some ideas about why they are? Well, I would say, first of all, that uh, Catholic thinking is never monolithic. There are vast divergences among the more intelligent, the less intelligent of, of believing Catholics. So it's a widespread. Statistically, I think the Catholic Church, uh, the thinking within the Catholic Church, is more inclined to accepting evolution and accepting it enthusiastically. It's not part of what I would call a more fundamentalist movement within American uh, religions where uh, evolution is looked upon as necessarily being atheistic and consequently it's kind of shunned. I think the Catholics who don't want to accept scientific evolution um, are those who don't quite understand what it's all about. They do believe that um, since we came from apes, we're apes, that they're reducing us to just being our antecedents in this evolutionary process, and that's why they reject it. The official church, I think, has matured very much on this, as we were talking about since the time of John Paul II, and maturing even more. There's a lot of ignorance, because churchmen do not always express themselves very clearly. Well, I think if I can just start off, the region that intelligent design appears to religious people is because of what I've said before. They look upon God as a God of explanation. And to have a, a, a God who, who designed all this is clearly something that they would want. Because if God did not design it, who did? And the answer scientifically, of course, is nobody. Nature, if you want. Because as we know very well, there is, if you want, a certain intrinsic destiny in the evolutionary process, right? through survival of the fittest and through uh, um, chemical complexity, a more complex chemical. Its future is more determined than a less complex chemical. Of course, there's decomposition and all, but apparently in the universe, there was a kind of what I call an intrinsic destiny to the whole thing. That's why we came about. That's why more complicated, more complex biological and chemical um, organisms come about because there is a natural intrinsic destiny. But this does not mean that somebody made it that way, that there's an intelligent designer. Religious thinkers always want to have God in the picture. And God does not want to be in the picture. He wants to be the source of it all and can, continuing to sustain it all, but let it happen. That's why, my view of God. Thank you.